1889, Shelburne's scheme for the rapid bankrupting and reabsorbing of North America into the British Imperium would have likely succeeded. Alexander Hamilton was blunt in his Federalist Paper Number 11, published in November 1787, quote, the adventurous spirit of America has already excited uneasy sensations in several of the maritime powers of Europe. If we could unite and can continue united, we may counteract a policy so unfriendly to our prosperity in a variety of ways. Suppose, for instance, we had a government in America capable of excluding Great Britain from all of our ports. What would be the probable operation of this step upon her politics? Would it not enable us to negotiate with the fairest prospect of success for commercial privileges of the most valuable and extensive kind in the domain of that kingdom. Even with these pressing matters still unresolved in North America, Shelburne and Bentham turned their attention to another critical front directly across the English Channel in France. The Seven Years' War of 1756 to 1763 had stripped France of its once formidable maritime capacity. Shelburne now sought to destroy France as an economic and military rival on the continent as well. From the outset, the Jacobin Terror was a British East India Company, British Foreign Office orchestrated affair. The bloody massacre of France's scientific elite was systematically carried out, although by French hands, manning French guillotines by the guiding hand from London. Jacques Necker, a Geneva-born Protestant, slavishly pro-British banker, had been installed through the efforts of Shelburne's leading ally in France, Philippe, the Duke of Orleans, as finance minister. 